Hello there. Well, I'm going to try another one of the um, circle tendril paws. Again, I have a recycled canvas and this time instead of putting down the white, white paint, I have got Renault Art Black and the consistency of my base paint is thinner this time. Instead of doing the very thick as I did with the white, I have done my normal consistency of rather runny honey. And my colours today are here. We have got gold, silver, copper, rose gold and pearl, pearlescent white. And the consistency of these colours is, again, my usual runny honey consistency. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what I can create this time, uh, as I'm planning on doing, putting all the colours on randomly again, and then doing the spiral pour uh, as, well, my <laughs> version of it, as I turn the spinner around and do um, the embellishments. So I'll start with my colours. colors for this part of the creation and um, now in last time I used a stick when I did my embellishments this time I'm going to use my spatula I want to give some wider streaks if I can so rather than just running it through like so I will hold it down slanted more so that I can get some wider streaks what I am afraid of trying in this of course is that the colours will just disappear straight into the black. So I'll get started on that now. to get my stick and just see what I can do about 
about making this slightly more circular the center piece so that I can decide what I'm going to do about the middle uh, I am thinking again of putting a bottle bottom in but I'm not sure about it because my flower that I did on my last one really was quite wonky and wobbly and I wasn't as happy with it as uh, if it had been as if it had instead had been come out differently. I'm just going to lift that piece of gold out of the middle as best I can. There's plenty of black paint there because I don't want to have that um, there while I decide what I'm going to do with that middle piece. Hmm, that looks really, really pretty. And my thoughts are still going with doing a bottle bottom piece, but I don't know if I've got a bottle bottom small enough. I would have to have a look to see whether I could do it and possibly even do a... Um, reverse dip on the flower in the middle to see what I can come up with. So I will think about that. Just get rid of a few of the bubbles that are starting to appear up on the top now. And uh, have a look at my bottle bottoms to see what I can put there. Right, I have found a bottle bottom to fit. So now I will pop those colours into the middle of it just to do a tiny flower. Well, <laughs> it won't be tiny, but I won't put too much colour down and see what I can get. some paint over a bottle bottom and I've got my sort of flower there <laughs> so I'm going to just lift my bottle bottom off and put some color down into the center with my spatula just bring it down I'm going to do double color well I'll try single color first and see how I go I just want to bring it down so that we haven't got that complete black look in the center. Although it's not going to make much difference because when I put the piece of uh, hand towel onto it, it will bring it inwards anyway if I can lift it properly because I've done it, cut out a circle piece of hand towel. It will be interesting to see whether or not I can lift it up cleanly because it hasn't got the four corners on it. So I've cut out my piece of uh, hand towel and I am not wetting it. I'm going to use it dry and I'm just going to put it straight down in the center over the top of the flower as best I can, like so. I'm just going to sort of merge the rest of the flower that didn't come in. I want to merge out so that it doesn't look like it's got, so it looks like it doesn't look like the edges have been missed. I just want to bring them out a little. And make them look part of the outer pattern. It's well set on there now. It's sitting very nicely and comfortably on the paint. So I will now attempt <laughs> to pick it up. I'll just get my gloves on. Okay, tweezers. 
so that I can lift it. So I'll start across here and lift it, hold it in the set down in the center and lift it across to there. And then I'll do the same with this bit. Hold it down in the center and lift it across to there. Then I will do the same with this one. Hold it in the center and lift it across to there and hold that with my fingers while I lift up this piece. And also bring it in to the center. Okay, not quite what I was hoping for, but close enough. If I now get my spatula and bring it down like so towards the center, just to make this look a little more like a flower, which of course it isn't really going to, but it was worth the try. <laughs> That still doesn't look too bad. And I'm just actually going to swipe it through here as well. And swipe it through here as well. And through here. So I need to keep going with the swipes through the middle to try and create something that looks like <laughs> a center. Okay. Hmm. Well, I had to give it a go. It certainly is different. And uh, even the uh, pieces here that I was doing of the um, tendrils have come out differently to last time. Uh, could be because I was doing it with something different instead of using the stick um, and also the um, paint is a different paint. Okay, I've decided to have a bit of a fiddle around with it. I just thought I might try doing a tilt with it to see if I can bring some of the colours and uh, tendrils I don't like off to one side and sort of bring the pattern um, more rather than being sort of centered bring it to the edges and take part of the tendrils away I think that looks so much better. I like like it on the diagonal like that and it's kind of now more the um, explosion type tendril um, that uh, uh, that appeals to me um, rather than what I had before so I'm going to leave it like that. I think the um, shape of it is a lot better. If I was going to change one thing, and I know I always say that, it would be that sort of muddiness in there. 
and probably what I could do with that would be to get my stick and actually um, do some embellishment down in the through the gold and the white here down into this just to sort of give it some definition so that it doesn't look quite so cloudy and um, yeah and blended so that will be enough of it that's much much better I like that so much better now with the streaks going through it that's good okay that is it for me for today once again thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time